you from the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. And Kevin Ladies McBride and is first Cedric up. Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with Paris Las Vegas presents this Everlast Heavyweight Explosion Contest scheduled for eight rounds. Your referee for this event is Victor Alegria. Introducing the principals first. In the red corner, to my right, wearing the green trunks with the gold trim, he weighs in at 270 pounds with a professional record that reads 25 victories, 3 defeats, 1 draw, and 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the great nation of Ireland and boxes out of Brockton, Massachusetts. Here is Kevin McBride. McBride. His opponent in the blue corner wearing the dark green trunks with the black trim. He weighs in at 211 pounds. His professional record, 12 victories, one defeat, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Denver, Colorado. Here is the barrel touch of sleep, Williamson. Williamson, eight rounds, heavyweights. Here we go then, Kevin McBride, former Irish Olympian, of course, in 1992 in Barcelona. 25 wins, three defeats, one draw, 20 knockouts. So three defeats, incidentally, two of them came in 1997, one in 1998. No disgrace either way. Luis Monaco beat him, Axel Schultz beat him, and so did Michael Murray from Manchester. But he's in here against a pretty wicked puncher in Devar Williamson, who's also built like a basketball player. But McBride's a big lad. Eight rounds this one scheduled for, and this is round one, and uh, Kevin... Well, he's pretty slow and ponderous, in my opinion, but he's a big lad and he carries a bit of a whack and he's now with the Petronelli brothers in Boston, Massachusetts. Decent right there from Kevin. And quite obviously, they'll be uh, trying to develop the power of McBride. You're not going to turn him into a ballet dancer by any means. So, Devarrell Williamson then. 11, sorry, 12 wins, one defeat. That one loss was a fourth round stoppage at the hands of Willie Chapman. But uh, everything going right for him. I mean, he beat Harold Sconier. Knocked him out in a round last time we saw him here on British Eurosport. And also beat the Russian Andre Kopilov in three rounds. That was pretty good form. And statistically, one of uh, McBride's better wins was against the former Southern Area champion uh, from Croydon, I believe, uh, Roger McKenzie. Um, although that came, that would have been a learning fight originally, but it came sort of, when was that McKenzie fight? I'm just trying to think, 1996, in fact. Uh, McBride now has been a professional fighter since uh, December of 1992, after he got back, of course, from the Olympic Games. And he is... Big, cumbersome, slow, but he's got a decent record. Well, Williamson there strikes with a fast right. And uh, McBride, you know, he needs to keep his chin tucked down, which he's doing, in fact. And as I said, the only three defeats on his record so far have all come inside the limit. So a bit of fragility there for McBride, but uh, maybe the Petronellis have toughened him up a bit. Don't forget they uh, took Steve Collins to a world title shot and also looked after the affairs of the marvellous Marvin Hagler. Well, whipping left hook there again from Williamson. And as I say, he's got a basketball player's physique, although not quite as tall. And McBride from Clones in Ireland, which of course is the uh, the hometown of the former world featherweight champion Barry McGuigan. <laughs> and if McGuigan was the Clones cyclone, I've got to say McBride is the Clones gentle breeze, isn't he? Nice work here from Williamson now towards the end of round one. 
And that is a good start then for Williamson. Can't seem to miss McBride. So there is in Devarrell Williamson, odd name from Washington DC, been a pro only a couple of years now, but uh, 12 wins, one defeat, and 11 of those 12 wins via the short route. The only man so far to last the full route with him was Bradley Rowe, and that was last year. Nice pace, man, nice pace. So, a bit of replay here. McBride walking onto a right hand left hook combination. Good punches, those. And again, that's the same combination from the side angle. So, Goody Petronelli then trying to get something out of McBride here. So, into round two of a scheduled eight. And I can't for the life of me seeing this one going that far. And so far, of course, McBride has only been asked to travel the full route on five occasions. 20 of his wins coming inside the limit. So, Williamson then seems to be unbothered by um, the size of McBride. And uh, I don't think McBride may have the... Uh, the power to bother Williamson too much. Well, once again, Williamson there likes to feel his knuckles on his opponent, and that's exactly what he's getting here with McBride. The referee for this one is Victor Alegria. Well, once again, nice punch picking here from Williamson. That might have been on the borderline, but uh, bangs back up to the head. And McBride beginning to feel these shots now and not enjoying them. Oh, and a big miss there from Williamson. Well, quite possibly Devarrell Williamson now has found McBride's weakness. He looks a bit fleshy and he's going for that body. That ample body, I've got to say. McBride, 28 years of age now. Williamson, five years old at 33. And there's a cut now, right eye of Kevin McBride. And that's a real shame for him, as if he didn't have enough to cope with. He's got now a bit of blood on that right eye. So now... McBride is beginning to look for the knockout punch here, and he might just need it. Well, I don't often see McBride cut, but he's coping with it quite well at the moment. In fact, having his best moment since that cut appeared, again for Williamson winning this one pretty comfortably at the moment 2018 and by the way the Paris Hotel um, I was in Vegas when they were building it and I walked past it in the morning it was a hole in the ground by tea time it, they'd almost finished guys switch to max so there's the, the uh, state of that cut then um, mm, about an inch long well, the doctor there also talking to Goody Petronelli in that uh, corner, letting him know that he's on hand if he needs some advice about the cut. So a bit of replay here also from round two. Body punches there, a good body shot in fact from Williamson.
and that was the punch that caused the cut I think so this is round three then and we scheduled eight and uh, McBride damaged now so things looking pretty decent for Williamson and that right eye of course is the obvious target got to say that McBride uh, responded pretty well towards the end of round two uh, when the cut appeared and uh, of course he really does need to get rid of Williamson if he can one borderline shot there from Devara Williamson <laughs> so round three and uh, with the heavyweight of course almost anything can happen Williamson doing exactly the right thing here, not getting too involved, picking the punches.